Hi Taurus, welcome to your mid-October 2020 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Taurus, this love reading I'm going to connect to an energy in or around your energetic field that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you. I'm going to ask how they feel about you, what they think about you, what they like about you, don't like about you, about you, what they like about the connection, what they don't like about the connection, and what their highest hopes and deepest fears are in regards to this connection. So, this is for anyone that has the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement in the sign of Taurus. I'm tapping into a collective of thousands of energies, so not every message in this reading may be for you. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. If this reading is not for you, Taurus, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky currently, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Taurus. Who wouldn't be? I do want to remind Taurus and cross watchers that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation where the roles are flipped and reversed in your specific case. And if that's the case, you're more than welcome to flip those roles and use your own discretion to do so. But because this is a Taurus reading, I will make Taurus the main subject of the reading. Before we get into the reading Taurus, I do want to quickly mention that I am doing a 200k giveaway because I've hit 200,000 subscribers and I can still hardly believe it. It's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for all your positive support of myself and the channel. I want to give back to you all. So I am giving out candles, tarot decks, crystal sets, sage sticks, all that good stuff. If you're interested in entering the 200k giveaway, just open up the description box and you'll find the rules of entry to the giveaway there. Alright Taurus, let's get started. Let's get started. Oh, there we go. Geez. Okay, Taurus. Nine of Cups is how they feel about you. Ooh. Hmm. Wow. Okay, Taurus, man, this is what I'm getting for a lot of you. Someone really is wanting another chance with you. Someone wants you back after you've walked away. I feel a lot of you were the one to put an end to something and had to because someone wasn't giving you the emotional fulfillment that you wanted from them. And I feel after this was a time of really, really hoping and wishing for the best, and then when you never saw it come to fruition, it was time for you to leave. They just, I don't know, this person may not be very emotionally expressive at all, or just anyone that really opens up easily. But Taurus, I feel as if you're the only person that really has gotten to this spot in their heart. That makes them feel like, yeah, I need to get Taurus back. I need to get another chance with Taurus, because Taurus is the only person that has ever made me feel this way. I mean, you are their heart's desire. You are their wish fulfillment. We see that with the Nine of Cups. We see that with the Magician. We see that with the Ace of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. But there's also something Taurus, I think kind of scared them that they couldn't really figure out why they felt so strongly for you. You know, it, it's something where this person, again, is not very emotional. They're not very, you know, romantic in the type where they'll seeing at your doorstep and throw rose petals to the entrance of your bedroom, but there's something about them that you've opened within them that even though they still can't fully figure out, they know this is something that is special, unique, and rare. And this is their last shot is kind of what I'm getting from you, Taurus. At the bottom of the deck, we have Seven of Pentacles, Taurus Energy. 
Some of you could be connected to another Taurus or someone that has Taurus in their chart, perhaps. But yeah, there is a lot of a lot of waiting around. And you are done waiting, Taurus. You are done waiting for this person to step up. You are done waiting for this person to confirm the feelings that they have for you. I feel with the Seven of Pentacles that you really felt like someone slept on you or someone was just not, you almost felt like it was unrequited love, you know, in a way. They weren't doing anything to act on it. They weren't doing anything to show you anything from it. And so that's why you walked away. But Taurus, man, the moment you walked away, the moment they realized what they lost. Big time. And it's something where Taurus, I don't know, for a while they just thought things could be kept casual because they weren't ready to really progress things to a full-on commitment. Because again, like their emotional availability is not very strong. But I think it's just very hard for them to dive into emotions. But again, Taurus, you are the key to unlocking that within them or to them, for them to finally take a look at themselves and really understand, wait, I did something here that now I regret. I didn't act. And me not acting was enough to tell Taurus that I'm not interested. And nothing can be farther from the truth than that. I want to go ahead and clarify the Seven of Pentacles energy. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here in the background for my Taurians? Seven of Wands, Leo energy. Some of you could be connected to a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. Yeah, they were defensive. They were just not ready or willing to open up Taurus so instead of really telling you that instead of really telling you their feelings or telling you that they're just someone who's very I you know it's like they put up this guard to protect themselves but really it's because deep deep down they are sensitive seven seven here um you know seven could be a life path number of someone you could have met this person in July, perhaps. You could be born on May 7th, May 17th. But they were just completely unwilling to open up to you and not act on anything. And even when you guys, for some of you, tried to talk about it, they were very aggressive, very defensive, and just did not want to go there. So you had enough. You had enough and you had to leave. But how they feel about you, Taurus, Nine of Cups, Pisces energy. Again, there's something about this connection that they still can't figure out why they feel so strongly for you. But they know you make them happy. I feel like at their house or at your house, like you freely walk around in your boxers or in your underwear and it was really sexy. Where they wake up to you and you're like just already up and about but you didn't put clothes on, <laughs> you know? Or there's like someone that just like wears a bra and sweatpants or just like, you know, their bare chest in sweatpants and it's really, really sexy. You're comfortable in your own skin. Um, but there's just, I, I just keep on hearing I want you back and I miss you. And... Taurus, I want to make it clear, and if it is vice versa, cross watchers, and it's vice versa, but they know that they've messed up. But it's still, you know, I still feel some sort of confusion or questioning. What about Taurus makes me feel so strongly? Or what about Taurus makes me want to come back so strongly? They still haven't figured it out. And maybe there's some sort of conversation that needs to happen so you can help them figure it out. Well, damn, maybe it's because you got feelings for me. Maybe it's because you know there's something more to this than you tried to make it out to be. There's something about a picnic bench. I don't know if someone lives by a park. You met up at a park or used to meet up at a park. Or there was a conversation that happened on a picnic bench. And it could have been like very deep, very emotional or something revealing. That kind of just, that was the instance they knew there was something different about this connection. Something different about you and how they feel about you.
What they think of you, Taurus. Wheel of Fortune. So Jupiter energy, you could be connected to a Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius in your chart or Pisces as Sag uh, Jupiter is the co-ruler of Pisces. Um, so what I feel with this, there's been a lot of ups and downs in this. A lot of ups and downs. And throughout all, throughout it all, you know, this roller coaster of a ride that they've had with you, Taurus, they still feel like this is something that they can expand, that they can work on. But I feel with this, Taurus, truly, that they're, they can't control their thoughts of you. They can't control their feelings for you. Because with the Wheel of Fortune, there's highs and lows. As there's one thing that is certain, though, is that it's always going. It's always moving. And so it's like, Taurus, I feel like at one moment, and you've seen this in this person as well, it's like, they're all in this. They had they hit you up. They talk to you. They want to do things with you. They want to you want you to come over. And then the next minute, it's like you don't hear from them. They send you these text messages or messages that are like one word periods at the end, you know, completely changed from one minute to the next. And that's something that also frustrated with you that frustrated you as well is the ups and downs of it. You know? And that's from this uncertainty within them, Taurus. I want to make that clear. And then, if, especially for those of you that have already walked away, um, you know, they go in between these, oh, you know what, I'm fine. I can pick myself up again. It, it's whatever to like, oh my God, I miss Taurus. Where, why isn't Taurus responding to me? Did I really screw everything up between me and Taurus? That type of energy. They're kind of a mess right now, Taurus. I gotta be honest. Or someone's a mess here about the ending of this or about where things are not where they used to be between the two of you. But again, I have to say, the one thing that's constant is their feelings for you as far as the interest, as far as, you know, even when they go through those times of, oh, whatever, you know, Taurus and I broke up. I'll just keep it moving the next second. Oh, damn, wait. But I miss the way Taurus smells. I miss the way Taurus feels. I miss the conversations I have with Taurus. I miss being with Taurus. Let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune here. I want to get this situated. <laughs> Why is the Wheel of Fortune and what they think about Taurus? There's definitely been drama between the two of you. I don't know if that's arguments or a certain dramatic atmosphere and I think it's because someone's so frustrated with the other person not opening up but again it could be anything the sun damn yeah so Taurus even if this was the period they went through for a bit at the end of the day I think they're finally coming to the realization that you're their happiness that being with you made them the happiest that no one else makes them this happy as you do Leo energy again so they know now that if they want this to expand with you, they're going to have to show you really everything they didn't reveal to you, their feelings, their wants, their cravings for you. Because Taurus, damn, they miss you if you walked away. Um, yeah, you were their happiness. You were their light. I'm hearing that song, Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone by Bill um, Wathers, Walters. I'm so sorry if I'm messing up the last name. You guys know it. Waters, maybe? Um, but that song, you know? There's no sun sh sunshine now that you're gone, Taurus. And they want this with you. They're thinking about this with you. But now the problem is, how do I reapproach Taurus after everything I didn't do? Because I do get this feeling, Taurus, that you're fed up. Someone could also have changed their hair color recently. What they like the most about you, Taurus, magician energy, Virgo energy, Gemini energy. You could have those signs in your chart. Again, Taurus, there's something about the way you look. The way you talk, the way you walk, 
that was so magical, that was so charming, that was so alluring. <laughs> Taurus, this person thinks you can talk the pants off of them any day. You know, like there's something that they're just so drawn to you by. This magical pour, uh, pull, this allure that they have for you. Damn, I'm getting a very, you, and you're very sexy in their eyes. Very, very sexy. And it's just like this pull that you have, this, just the way your personality is. You know, you're also a go-getter. You also, you know, manifest your heart's desires. You work for it though. This isn't something that, you know, comes to you at will. You work very, very hard for everything that you have. And this person respects you for that. They really do. And I feel, Taurus, that there's some of you that have been through a lot in life that you maybe have told this person at one period of time. But you always know how to get out of it. You always know how to pick yourself up again and fix it. You always know how to turn the worst into the best. And there's just a certain magic about you. I don't know if you guys practice magic or you yourselves are tarot readers, um, but I feel this like some sort of just this desire, this unexplainable desire for you, Taurus. And if you're manifesting them back into your life for some of you, it's working, by the way. I do feel that very strongly. But what they don't like about you, Taurus, Eight of Cups energy, Pisces energy, they don't know if they can really open you up again. They feel as if you're emotionally checked out of this. That even if they were to reach out to you, even if they were wanting a second chance with you, that you're just not gonna be interested anymore because emotionally you're just not invested. That's what they fear. And I almost feel, Taurus, that whatever the last conversation you had with them, it wasn't very good. And things were said that they didn't mean to say. And because of that, you know, they may have had low blows or something. And that, that truly they're afraid is the last time they'll ever hear from you again. But they are afraid you're already emotionally checked out of this. What they like about this connection here, Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Interesting. <sighs> that there's always, you know, despite the ups and downs that you guys have had, because I see that very, very clearly, there's always this pull for you. There's always this desire for you. You know, and you may not even be realizing that they still have these feelings towards you because I don't, I feel like for some of you, you haven't talked in a very long time. Maybe in the last two months, is what I'm hearing. But Taurus, I also get this energy, whether it's re like based in reality or not, but they almost think that um, no matter what, you'll always still give them a chance or that you'll always still have that pull to, towards them that they have towards you. And that's what they're really relying on, you know, is that feeling that, you know, despite everything that has happened, the good and the bad, that there'll still be a hope and a yearning for each other. Um, someone could be wearing green right now. That could be confirmation. Someone's favorite color could be green. Or someone, green is someone's aura color. I also get that someone has like plants in their bedroom. Or maybe in their bathroom. A lot of plants in the home. That could just be confirmation for someone. Let's go ahead and clarify this as well. Why is the two of pentacles here? But what they like the most about Taurus. Oh yeah. Um, someone could also have red hair as well. I'm picking up very strongly. Queen of Wands. Aries energy. I mean, yeah, that... This desire for you. This... 
again, Taurus, whether you realize it or not, you are A1 in their eyes. You are just so attractive. I mean, recently I feel like you guys posted a picture of yourselves and they saw it. If you don't have social media, this isn't for you. Um, they saw it and that's what's made them just re-want to start this again or just want to reach out to you. They're thinking about it. They're definitely thinking about it. And again, there's just this magical attraction about you. I mean, the Queen of Wands is someone that attracts what they want. I see it with the Magician. I see it with the Queen of Wands. And Taurus, you are not the one to make a lot of initiative. You know, if someone is wanting you, they know your number. They know where you're at. They can call you. They can text you. And it's maybe that energy you put off Taurus of like, you know what, I'm not going to work for it. I'm not going to um, put too much of myself into it. That's what really, really gets them going. That's what makes you all the more desirable. You know? Is you not like constantly texting them, constantly like wanting their attention all the time. You get your attention all by yourself. What they don't like about this connection, the Hierophant energy. So Taurus energy. So again, some of you could be dealing with someone that's a Taurus or has Taurus in their chart. I also feel Capricorn energy with this card. So different messages. For some of you, they fear commitment, straight up. They fear commitment. They fear what to commit to something that they can't give. I mean, this person, you know, could have thought for a period of time that they were happier being single, independent, that being in a commitment would strain them, strain their freedom in some way. But others of you, what I feel from this, um, what they don't like about the connection here, Taurus, is that they know they're going to have to show you a lot of devotion, a lot of care and commitment. You know, it is a bit selfish, I gotta say, to, you know, want to have someone in your life without fully giving your all into it. They also fear Taurus. Um, if this is something that you're even going to want to give this another go at, another chance at. Again, like especially if you're the ones to walk away from it all, that you have other interests. You have other people that you could be interested in, in that will show you commitment if you're not already involved in someone else currently. But yeah, they also just don't like the fact that you're demanding this from them, that they just feel like they're not ready to give, or maybe at a period of time weren't ready to give. But they still want you around. Whatever. So confusing. I feel your frustration, Doris. I do. Highest hopes. Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries Leo, Sagittarius Energy. They want a new beginning. They want this, I mean, the desire, the passion for you is a lot. They miss having you in their bed. They miss being with you. And I gotta say, you see those, it looks like two people in that flame right there. A lot of them are still unaware of the profound feelings they have for you. And they're really, really hoping that like you'll still feel the same and that this could be for some of you just because of the flame and the two people here, a twin flame connection. And what's so frustrating with twin flames sometimes is that whole chase and be chased type of energy that I feel both of you have been doing for a long time. And now it's like they want to restart that. But Taurus, despite what you may feel about this person, if you at once period of time did feel like this was a soulmate of yours, you're not just in it for the sex. You're not just in it for the passion. You have so much more desire that you want from this. And you don't want this to just be a hookup, a booty call. You're demanding more and you deserve more. 
deepest fears, six of wands. Leo energy again. They could have had everything that they wanted. They could have had fulfillment, success with you. Someone definitely liked to grab that ass or spank it, you know? <laughs> Someone was definitely an ass person. But that, yeah, they had their chance and they blew it. Their chance of fulfillment, of success, of being with someone that drives them wild. Really though, Taurus, you're on this person's mind constantly. But they just missed out on their success. They missed out on their chance. And now all they can do is look. They can look at your social media. They can ask around about you, but they can never touch it again. You're conserving yourself and your energy because you see success elsewhere. Maybe you even see success possibly with someone else. That's a done deal. For their likely next moves towards you, Taurus, or the likely outcome of this situation, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But before we go, I am going to pull a Romance Angels card. And I'm going to ask Spirit if there's anything that they that spirit can reveal to us of how they feel about you or what their intentions are towards you that they haven't told you yet. I'm also hearing braces. Um, I don't know, someone could have had braces in their past or someone could currently have braces. Confirmation for someone. Romantic feelings and it is safe for you to love. Damn, like yeah, Taurus, the feelings are still there. They're still very, very strong. And they still have it for you. Um, but again, it was their own insecurity of opening up. It was their own inability to feel safe to love, to open up to love. That now they're finally coming to the realization that it was always safe to do. They do have romantic feelings for you. That is without a doubt. And maybe this is confirmation for someone that there is someone that they love to come up from behind you and start kissing on your neck. Or like when you guys made love, there was a lot of breathing on the neck, whether that's you or the other person. But yeah, the feelings are there and they want to make this work again, but are you willing to? And that's maybe what's holding them back from reaching out to you. But again, we're gonna go ahead and take this to the extended reading. So if you'd like to join me there, open up the description box, I'll overturn this card, and then I'm gonna provide some oracle cards for you guys as well. If this is where we depart, Taurus, I really hope that this resonated with you. If it did, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Before we go, Taurus, I do want to quickly mention that I am still selling hand-picked crystal sets and handmade zodiac candles on my online shop, mermaidscaleshop.com. I hand select every crystal that goes in each crystal set that I feel every purchaser will resonate with. And I do hand make all the zodiac candles I sell in my online shop where I intuitively choose the colors and the scents that I feel every zodiac sign will vibe with. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or something that you love, feel free to check out my online shop where you can find the link in the description box of the video as well. I love you Taurus very much and I'll see you next time. Take care, Taurus.